guys, it's Danny. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another plan with me for you. This is for the week of the 18th through to the 24th of December. And I'm using this beautiful kit from Alley Cat Shop. It's called Bows of Holly. It is a Christmas kit, but um, I'm going to go ahead and use it anyway, even though Christmas is well and truly over, because it's not necessarily Christmas specific. It's a very pretty wintry theme. So it's got these sprigs of holly and uh, pine and pine cones and these beautiful red robins. And I just love these light blues and these ruby reds. So um, you definitely don't have to use it for Christmas. So I've just put down my washi there and now I'm going ahead and putting down my headers. I'm putting down my to-do and my uh, today headers and I'm scattering them across the days but I am going to try and colour blocks so you'll notice Monday I stick to reds, Tuesday I stick to the darker green and when whatnot. Just because these headers are made for colour blocking and when they're uh, made like that I do like to try and do it. Okay, this kit also comes with um, these three bonus glitter headers so it doesn't come with a full set of glitter headers. Um, but it does come with these three bonus ones and they're really pretty so I'm just uh, alternating them on the days and then for the rest of those days I'm going to take these leftover strips from Pretty Sticker Co and these are just washi strips in this beautiful chunky silver glitter and some of them are a bit too thick you can see there they're too wide for the header space but that doesn't matter because I'm now going ahead with my full boxes and I'm going to layer those over where it overlaps there so you can't even see it anyway so it works out perfectly. So most of her kits do come with glitter headers or they come as an option but um, this one obviously I didn't order this with the glitter headers so um, but this worked out really well and it gives me a chance to use up some of those um, extra stickers that I had left over. I love these four boxes how beautiful are those little robins as soon as I saw this kit I knew I had to have it I just love those little robins. Okay just going ahead with my checklist now and I'm just putting those under my to-do headers Again, just sticking to those colours for the days. Okay, now I'm going to start working on my sidebar. So I'm putting down my habit tracker. I'm just leaving a little bit of uh, white, white space there. And what I'm doing here is I'm copying a little bit from Holly Plans. I really like how she does her, um, I'm pretty sure it's her anyway, how she does her sidebar. She puts down a, a wide strip of washi and then she layers her headers sort of in the middle of them so you'll see at the end when I put my headers in. So I did have to uh, shuffle this around a little bit to make sure I had enough room so I'm going to put in my checklist but it's a little bit too long so I just snip off that top part and then I do have to shuffle the rest um, of the sidebar upwards a little bit to um, take up that space which is fine. I could have put my washi in but I really didn't want to and these stickers came up. I did tear it a little bit. You can see here at the, um, the weekly box I tore it a little but it's fine. You really can't notice. And then I just put in a little thin strip of washi at the bottom there to take up that extra space. And I really like how this looks this week. I think I'm going to continue doing this at least for a little while um, because it's really pretty. I do like bringing that little extra bit of white space into the sidebar. And then just popping those headers across those washi strips. So I really like the effect that this gives. I've been meaning to try it out for a while. I just keep forgetting. But I really like it. So I think I'm going to keep doing it for a while at least. Okay, now I've chosen this pretty decorative flag to go up the top for my month. And putting in my Peaceful Mind Design monthly script sticker for December. Now I'm taking uh, the rest of my Bella Bee Designs date dots. And I'm just putting those across the top. This kit didn't come with date covers, or it may have been an option, but I didn't pick them up. Um, so I'm just putting it in the date dots, and it looks just fine without the date covers. Okay, moving into day by day. Monday, I'm putting in a little thing to mark that I had to do uh, YouTube stuff, filming and editing and whatnot. Then a mill little thing and uh, the decorative spray bottle icon to mark cleaning day. Obviously, boring, but has to be done, right? Then a half box and this laptop icon, that's for uh, I had to do some work on my um, my business and pack some Etsy orders. On to Tuesday, the little thing is for uh, I had to um, do my monthly plan with me. Then the uh, quarter box, yeah quarter box and the little envelope to mark that as I'll go to post office and post some Etsy orders. And I just had to peel the top of that envelope up to fit that washi in, so the washi is just to take up that extra space. On to Wednesday, I, I messed this up a little bit, I wasn't happy with it, I do go in and change it, 
But I um, sent out some Christmas cards. Well, I sent my main cards before this, but I forgot to use my bucket list sticker. So this is, um, I had to write out my son's, uh, like his daycare, his little daycare friend's um, Christmas card. So that's in for that. And then I put in another strip of washi and the uh, wrap presents sticker. And I, I really don't like how that looks. I do change it and I like it a lot better how I, I change it. So on to Thursday, an appointment label for my orthodontist and a little thing to mark that I had to change my trays that day as well. So a piece of mine design tooth icon for that. And I just chose the red to match. And then a stethoscope icon for the ortho, even though it's not really, I don't know, kind of medical. It does well enough, I think. And then I'm just filling in with this pretty washi because I want to use this beautiful scripty family time sticker and that washi makes a beautiful backdrop for it. For Friday, I'm putting in an appointment label, uh, this to buy one, and I'm going to cover up that little to buy with one of the decorative, well, plane flags actually, <laughs> and a pretty posh planning uh, medical sheet there, syringe for my little girl's four month vaccinations, which she actually did really well. I was so proud of her. And then the half boxes to mark my son had a, a water play day, like a um, like a pool day at kindy. So I put in a Claire Bear Prince little pool and beach ball to mark that. And just a little thing and a piece of my design sun to mark the summer solstice. On to the weekend, I put in my weekend banner and this is a nice small one. It fits in there really well, it doesn't take up too much room. Then this is where I decided to change up Wednesday because I remembered that we actually wrapped most of our presents on the 23rd. So that was the day before Christmas Eve which I'm really proud of ourselves for not leaving it right till Christmas Eve, but um, I definitely didn't like how Wednesday was looking, so I decided to move that wrap presents to Saturday, and it looks really nice. So I'm just putting in some of this pretty washi as a background for that sticker. Just trying to decide where I want to put it at this point. The design of these washies in this kit is so beautiful. So just put my wrap presents in there and then I'm going to move that Christmas card. And these are vinyl so they're really easy to pull up. I'm just going to move that down to the middle and I really like how that looks. I was a lot happier with that. The only other thing I did on Saturday was I went and got a mani. So I'm just putting in an appointment label and the little polish um, icon from the kit to mark that. Then on to Sunday, the main thing we did, the big thing was um, we did groceries and we had a uh, annual catch up with um, our, like our best friends that live near us. We always catch up on Christmas Eve. We um, all have young children and so we, we always do like a thing on Christmas Eve, which is always lovely. So, um, I was going to put my grocery strip in up the top, but it didn't fit. So <laughs> putting in that half box up the top, that's to mark that catch up and then the appointment label is for groceries. So I'm just going to put a little grocery bag over the top of that to go. And then for the half box, I'm going to put in this little, um, oh, I also put in those candy cans. I'm going to put in a little roast chicken and a hot chocolate off the um, bucket list kit, uh, bucket list sheet. Even though uh, our friends are actually vegetarian, so they definitely didn't eat chicken, but I just, just to mark food and drink. So we just went around there and had um, cold nibbles and, you know, ate and drank coffee and had a really nice time. So that's it for the week. I'm just going to go ahead and put in my um, Christmas countdown from Alley Cat Shop. And I was going to put it down the bottom, but I really didn't want to cover that washi. I loved it too much. So what I'm going to do is just cover up the first two hearts or the last two hearts on um, my checklists, where, just wherever they fit best really. So that is that Christmas countdown all used up. So the next day is um, Christmas Day, the 25th, next Monday. And that's everything. It's all finished. I love this so much. I did fill in off camera. Just used a black Sharpie fine liner and um, that's everything. And I absolutely adore this spread. So thanks for watching. I really hope you liked it too. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you next time. Bye.